Hey guys, Christ169 coming to you with a quick video here upload. I'm out in front of 7 Eleven. I'm gonna go out and do some stuff. I have to work tomorrow night and stuff. But before that, I wanna make a video here uh, titled The Cinderella Story and The Night of Horror. The Cinderella Story in gaming is gonna go to, to me, the most deserving one, and that's Battlefield 2042. I know EA has won the crappy game reward, company reward many times. And I assume they're proud of it, I guess. I don't know why they would be uh, proud of it. <clears throat> but, in the same sense, though, these people, this company, has done more to fix their game than any other company has done. And that is, A, you know, A, admirable, and B, a commendable for them for doing that. I think, yes, it sucks that, that, um, <clears throat> Battlefield was, a, a year or so ago, was so bad that people, only 2,000 people were playing it. Now, almost 20,000 people are playing it. Almost 50,000, so sometimes. Uh, season three has come out. Three or four has come out. Season three. And it's phenomenal. The, you know, the people are loving it again. This is the battlefield people like. Uh, they made a lot of changes. They changed the classes. And they put stuff right, right back in the classes. <clears throat> I must say, though, I do miss the old way. I, and I do miss having the option of, you know, of having a rocket launcher while I'm doing support. While I have an ammo crate and I have a rocket launcher. But, you know, my ammo uh, doesn't supply my own rocket launcher. Uh, you have to reset, die, respawn to do that. But you can drop down in the medical crate or ammo crate still. And I'm a, and now I'm a support guy, so you'll see me, Crisis 169, C-R-I-S-I-S 169, running around behind you guys. I'm throwing down crates. Because, you know, double XP weekend, I get more XP. <clears throat> Most cases, I, I've gotten probably 18 to 20,000, 18 to 2,000 points by doing big old damage, but also supplying people that I have done, gotten, getting kills, and or getting uh, objectives too. I, I get those two as well. I average about three objectives per game. I'm usually throwing down ammo crates constantly. Uh, I'm reviving people as much as I can. But other players are catching on to this, and I, and I like seeing this. And uh, with the cross chat on now, I talk to somebody who's on Xbox and PlayStation in the same squad. That's what we needed to have. Because you couldn't do that before. Now at cross gen, we are finally cross genning to where well, I can talk to you if you have it enabled on. I can talk to you, you can talk to me. And I'm on PC on Steam or EA Play, or we'll call it, I have it on Steam, but EA Play activates it. <clears throat> um, once again, my gamer tag, Christ 169, C-R-I-S-I-S -I -S 169. Um, it does all that, and it does that in a way that it's, it's beneficial. Because A, you can trash talk whatever, but B, you can communicate people. So, hey, I'm going to go to B, and you, you can't talk to anybody on B. You have to text them. None of you want to read the damn text. A lot of people don't have to text up. A lot of people turn the text off because they don't want to have it blasting in their face because they're trying to play a game. So, having the cross, the cross console PC chat open is even better. Now, people have to go in there and manually turn it on. And that's a bummer, but you know, whatever. And people's right to choose if they want to or not. But they do, it's cool. If they don't, great. But, you know, at least that way you have an option of communicating with each other. <laughs> a lot better. Because back then, you know, you know, unless you're all playing Xbox or PCs, or PS5s, or whatever you're playing, you couldn't communicate with, with only everybody, or only anybody who had your system. Now you can meet anybody you want that's in your squad. But now I want to have it open to everybody. But I'll probably confuse a lot of people, because you have to talk to people people rambling on about everything all, all over the place. I think they did the only squad. I think squad chat was the best thing to do. Because, you know, if you did like Call of Duty where everybody's yelling at one time, 
You got 64 people. Squads of four, at least. It's a lot of people screaming at each other. So having only the squad of four talking to each other is, you know, a benefit. And maybe even squad leaders can talk to other squad leaders. And have it where squad leaders can communicate. If you're a squad leader, you can communicate with other squad leaders in the, uh, you know, in, in the voice chat. Where you can turn it on or off or whatever. That'd be cool if they did that. So, yeah, no, no, no I'm Christ one second time squad leader. I'm going with squad leader, you know. John Q example, we're going to take over A1. We can, you know, we fortify our position, we get our vehicles, and we go over there. You know, and him and I, or her and I, whoever it is, is, is talking to each other, and we're letting our squads know, hey, we're going to take this over. Man, that's even better communication. But, you know, in time, they might do that, but if they don't, it doesn't matter to me. But I think it's so good, though. I still think, I still think, you know, we need an overlord, a person who's overseer, to be the communicator of all of us. You know, you know, you know, like they had in Battlefield 4. Where one person is designated the, you know, Overwatch person and they communicate with anybody they want to. And to me, that'd be a good thing to have. Because then you can get squad A and B to go take over A1. And C and D can go take over A2. And you can call down special rockets or whatever you want to do. Because your, your team is winning. You, get, you know, you get awarded a rocket or whatever. Or vehicles, you can respawn faster. <clears throat> you no, know, respawn the vehicles faster because you're, you know, utilizing your assets. That too would be cool too. A battle for twenty forty two, I think it'd be good. But battle for twenty forty two is, is the Cinderella story. Now, the ever and ever ever ending nightmare, never ending nightmare, goes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare two. This game that came out. A year after Battlefield still has issues. To this day, has issues. People are having issues with the game, having issues with communication, having issues with just playing it. Because people are just camping for camos and hiding for skins and they don't care about anything else and and you know, I like to play Ground War. You know, I love Invasion. It's awesome. But the camping is just killing it. There's camping in Battlefield, and there is. But if your team is good enough, that they will mark those enemy team who's, 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 who's camping at you, <clears throat> and you'll see a jet fly over when, when, when you're down and shoot at them or a vehicle. I always tell squad people, hey, you know, we call this up out. If you see a sniper, I'm going to call them out so we know where they're at. So we can go after them. Because once you kill them, they'll have to go somewhere else. And you can't leave that area open. But Call of Duty, no. Call of Duty is on rooftops and side hiding corners. One guy was hiding in a garbage can. People just take this game and they literally just ruin it. Call of Duty and, 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 you know, and ruin it. And they don't care. They make, well, you see, you don't like the game, don't play it. You're camping. Why are you making it, why are you trying to spin that to make it work? See, I don't understand how people can, can, can go out of their way and say, well, camping is a way of life. It's not a way of life. It's not a way of life at all. It's not a way of life. Camping is most stupidest thing I ever seen and done. I done a couple times in Call of Duty 4 because I didn't have any skill at the time. But hell, I got murdered more than I murdered anybody else. But you know, as I got good and started playing it, it became really fun. The world of world even the world at world was even better. <clears throat> but man, the campers, you know, are you know, are killing off the, the fan base. They have already lost, Call of Duty has already lost 80% of the casual players. Only the fanboys are back spin twirling, no scoping, and camping in corners. Spin twirling, no scoping, and camping in corners. The actual players who play casually are gone. They went to Battlefield or playing uh, Hogwarts Legends or 
Last of Us Parts 1, or what are they doing? They're not playing that Call of Duty anymore. Because Call of Duty is done with, you know, they're, they're done with it. And the excuses that Activision get about not having stuff, not bringing maps. They have so much maps they can bring over. But Activision is like, ooh, no. I'll, we're going to take one map, you know, a Mile Warfare 2019 and bring it back. They won't give us what we want for paying them money. They don't care, folks. Activision doesn't give a damn. Because no, they're being sold, no, they're being sold to Microsoft you know, within a year. So all those guys, all those guys will have golden parachutes. They'll float away and go destroy another gaming uh, franchise we like. And speaking of Microsoft, Red Dawn, Revy, call it new game coming out. Thirty frames a second. Game sucks. I made a video on it yesterday. The Xbox fanboys, uh, the Xbox fanboys of uh, 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 Defense Force, is now out and running, trying to do damage control. On the Xbox game being released by Bethesda, that's only 30 frames a second on current gen hardware. And the Xbox fanboys are already morphing into action, calling their fanboy zords, calling their fanboy zords to fireball anybody's house who speaks anything against their precious little game. Meanwhile, PlayStation, yeah, has had trouble with 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 with, with uh, Call of Duty issues. You know, hopefully going back to make their own games and not give a shit anymore and make better games than what my Microsoft's making. And say, hey, so you don't want to share Call of Duty? Fine, we'll go make, make, make our own franchise, make our own money. And what they should do in the first place anyway. Microsoft, you know, Sony should not care what Microsoft does. Sony should, Sony should bang out Last of Us Part 3, bang out some serious bangers, and just take, take their foot and curb stomp Microsoft into the ground. You know, game studio, Microsoft, Xbox game studios into the ground. And since instead of pissing and moaning about Call Call of Duty, I'll, I'll get Killzone back up there, get Resistance back up there, more Ratchet and Clanks, more Spy Fox, whatever, not Spy Fox, but uh, uh, what do you call it? This thing in game. No, <laughs> uh, whatever. Ratchet and Clanks, and get a new, a, a new Uncharted game. That's not sitting around Drake again. Maybe something different, maybe. But you can do this stuff, Sony. You don't have to be worried about Call of Duty. Call of Duty's fun and all, okay? A lot of people like Battlefield right now. Get EA to, to, to let you have Battlefield, you know, and a lot more of it. Get the next Battlefield on your system. Call of Duty is not going to be around there, Sony, but for longer. As it continues to be right now, Call of Duty right now, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Activision does sell Call of Duty to somebody else. EA or 2K or somewhere else. Or sell it to Microsoft completely. I wouldn't be surprised. Because right now, yes, it's the only one making money for them. You know, Diablo ain't bad and... Yeah, you know, World of Warcraft ain't bad either, but be honest with ourselves. If it makes billions of dollars, it's probably going to be Diablo and, uh, and World of Warcraft, because, you know, with the monthly subscriptions and add-ons, but with quick cash, that's why Call of Duty comes in. So I think Sony should worry about the Resistance series, Ratchet and Clank, made by the same damn company, Insomniac Games, they made Sunset Overdrive on Xbox, that nobody bought, because of my guy, it wasn't Call of Duty or Halo. Um... And get with uh, uh and get with uh, once again Stormyak to make some more Spider-Man stuff. Miles Morales is great. I'm about done with it. I beat the and I beat the first Spider-Man remastered in in original Spider-Man. Great game, fantastic franchise. I see potential. Spider-Man two hopefully come out later on this year. And I'll give you guys more information on that when I um um as that come available. But as I know right now. This is what I'm having to, to, to report on. Battlefield is doing better than Call of Duty. Call of Duty is having trouble keeping people. Battlefield is getting a lot of people back. Sony is whining about Call of Duty. He's worried about their own franchises. Um, uh, Xbox having trouble with you know, one game from um, a studio they purchased, you know, Bethesda. 
It's just, you know, and the fanboys and, and, and Xbox fan, Xbox fanboys are doing damage control. This is my video, guys. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, notifications. Peace.